Brickhouse, Maduro, in the Robusto. Hey everybody, I'm Abel Gate, and this is Cigar Vlog. So, Brickhouse, I've actually tried the Fumas of this. Fumas are basically uh, little Cuban sandwich cigars that are made typically to be handed out to uh, employees of cigar factories. It's kind of one of the perks of the job. But this is uh, definitely not that. This is actually a full-on long filler, uh, real deal Brickhouse with a Maduro wrapper. So it's going to be nice, dark, hopefully good, deep, rich flavor. You can take a close look on here, provided my camera will focus. Thank you. You see, this, is, this has got some serious cappage. I'm saying like one, at least two, possibly three caps on there. So this should be very well constructed. Now it comes down to whether or not I can actually cut it and light it and not screw everything up. And yes, I did decide to take my cutter off of my 20 pounds of keychain, which weirdly enough doesn't actually have any keys on it. Et voila. So, yes, I am still awkwardly trying to fumble around a tree limb, but it works, kind of ish. Is this going to focus? Thank you. Oop, careful. It's kind of dawned on me that was probably a pretty awkward shot, but at least it's getting it lit. Alright. So, nice awkward start to a video. Give me a second. So for starters, I'm definitely gonna have to fix this in a second here. Uh, preferably, when I, preferably when I can use both hands and actually look at it. But so far, spicy, very spicy. Ooh, picante. Hmm, yeah, spice, clean tobacco. A couple of things I can't quite play, put my tongue. A couple of different things I can't quite put my finger on. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and stabilize this light real quick and uh, see if I get this down to about an inch or so. I'll give you an update from there, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to actually discern what's going on. All right, so about a good inch in. I think I managed to get that uh, light on Fubard as much as I can. So far, spicy, very spicy. Nice and piquant. As I said, there's a kind of a lot going on in this. Uh, I'm getting, especially in the retrohale, that spiciness is still there in the nose, but there's also kind of an almost fruity quality to it. Come out with maybe, I want to say, a touch of really dark chocolate, coffee kind of notes. One of the nice things about Maduro's is they tend to be fairly complex in flavor, so everybody's going to get a little something different. Overall, spicy, kind of woody, little leather, little coffee, little clean tobacco. Very nice, very complex. All right, turned out good. Turned out real good. See, so yeah, like I said, I've tried the uh, Fumas of these before, and uh, those are actually pretty affordable and are definitely recommended for every day, just because they're same quality, same production facility just like half the price because they're all short filler. This is 100% long filler. And I want to say Honduran Dominican? Eh. I don't really pay too much attention to the country because, you know, as long as you're illegal to have them, the country isn't as important as the actual blend. I think I probably said that to death at this point. But anyway. Never fails. I walk along down here. There's restaurants over here, and I swear they're 
cooking up french fries or fried shrimp or something every day and it's just uh, lunch so they don't have any money so huh anyway i'm gonna go ahead and keep smoking this down this is kind of striking me as i've had like one i think one of these before actually filming this so if I'm not mistaken this may or may not have a transition or two i'm gonna smoke this down to the halfway point and find out for sure and report on it from there all right see you at the halfway point all right ash just fell off so far i've noticed from uh the first inch down the uh, spice pretty much died off almost completely there's just a little hint of pepperiness on the back end like right in the back of your throat so far the flavors i've been getting off of this have been earthy tobacco and a really deep rich espresso note this is definitely shaping up to be a very excellent coffee cigar. I don't know if I necessarily recommend drinking this with, the, with anything alcoholic, truth be told. It's just that complimenting of coffee that I can definitely recommend a deep espresso or uh, you know, a latte, something like that. Something very, very coffee. The retro hail has been kind of interesting. At first, I kind of started thinking it was kind of fruity, and then maybe kind of cocoa and then the more I thought about it, it kind of had that kind of bready, cinnamony kind of cocoa. You're not quite sure if it's cinnamon bread, cocoa bread, but it's very, very bready, yeasty, with a certain, with a certain uh, kind of sweetness, cocoiness, spicy, cinnamony kind of thing. It's very interesting. You can definitely pull a lot of flavors out of this. So far, excellent cigar. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this last band off and get one final update at the nub. Other than that, they're really enjoying this. Excellent cigar, excellent. Considering the fact that it's a nice day, all I gotta do is make sure I don't get run over by a bicyclist. <laughs> Alright, so, let me yank the band, get back to getting up. Alright, final update at the nub. This is actually my second take of this because I kind of ran out of space on the first one. So hopefully I didn't delete anything I needed. <laughs> Whoops. So far, started off really spicy. I've got the first inch that died down, and you get the uh, nice earthy tobacco with a deep, rich espresso note, along with a fruity, cocoa, bready retro hail. I stay pretty consistent all the way down to the nub, with maybe just a slight lingering pepperiness in the very, very back end of it, kind of in the back of your throat. Drink glass, I'm going to suggest maybe not doing alcohol with this. It's very much an excellent coffee cigar. Now, it is a premium line, so they can get a little pricey, but it is definitely worth it. All right, that's pretty much all I've got. And you get to miss out on the dog that's decided to start randomly barking at me. <laughs> so, anyway, excellent coffee cigar, decent day. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I, could say, uh, I didn't say it actually earlier. I said it in the previous take, but whoops. I was kind of hoping that I'd have a little bit more history to go on about this, but uh, it's just it's a newer brand, and um, well, I say newer because I just don't really know that much history about it, because it is, I think maybe 10, 20 years old, maybe. Kind of wish I had more to go on, but that might be another video for another time. Anywho, if you like this video or any other video, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you had one of these. That's all I got. I'll see you next time.